Welcome to e Know How. In this video, we will look at the CMOS exclusive OR gate, how it is constructed using transistors and gates, and also we will look at the digital operation. So, if you look at the truth table for the exclusive OR gate uh, or the symbol, let's start with the symbol. Symbolically, it's represented like this. So, we'll take the two input gate with two inputs A and B and the output is Y. So if you write the truth table for this, so A, B and Y, so write all the four combinations, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. The output will be high when both A and B are different. So for 0, 1 and 1, 0, and it would be low in the other cases. So this is the truth table for the exclusive OR gate. So now if we try to write this in terms of expression, see uh, what it is. So it is high during these two cases when A is 0 and B is 1 and A is 1 and B is 0. So if you write it Y is A bar V plus A B bar. So that is the expression for the exclusive or gate. So now let's try to uh, simplify it or try to construct it using gates. Try to construct an exclusive or using gates. So this Y can further be written as let's put two inversions on this a bar b plus a b bar let's put two inversions on it now we'll simplify this now let's take the part with the one inversion here and so that would be so you have one inversion at the top which remains like that then it becomes a bar b inverted or whole bar and this would be a not a plus not an or but it will be an and now with a b bar a b bar and then an inversion on the top so let's try to construct this using gates so what it means is now we look at it we need a bar and we need b bar and then everything else would be NAND gates. So let's take A and invert it to get A bar. So we have an inverter. And let's do the same thing with B. Let's take B and invert it to get B bar. Now we have all the four inputs that we need now we can construct this. So let's start with the constructing with the, the first term here. This term. So that is A bar B whole bar. So A bar and B whole bar. So that's an AND gate. So that would have the input is A bar, one of the input. And the other input is B. So we take B directly from here and connect it to the input. Then the next one, next one we want to look at is this guy. This is A B bar whole bar. So one of the input is B bar. The other input is A. So we get it from here connected to the input. So we got these two terms now. Now we need to put an AND gate for these two. So we get this. This is A exclusive or B. Exclusive or is written like a plus sign with a circle around it. So that is the A exclusive or B. So now let's see how many gates, how many transistors we have used here in this case. Let's put the count here. So we have two transistors here, two here, four, four, and four. 
So total number of transistors we used, CMOS, uh, that's P, PMOS and NMOS put together is you got 4 here and 12 here. So it is 16, total of 16 transistors. have been used to construct this gate. So now let's see another approach where it's it's a good approach where you don't use gates but you kind of use transistors to build the logic here. So now let's go back go here. Let me write the truth table once again quickly so that uh, it's easy for us. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, then you got 0, 1, 1, 0. Let's enclose this in, in a box, put some lines. This is our truth table for the exclusive R gate. So now let me construct this in a very innovative fashion. So using So, 8 transistors, 8 and then we need 2 inverters. So, it will be 8 plus 4 is 12 instead of 16. So, what I do here is I put 2 branches of 2P channel transistors in series and then we connect this to VDD here. So, now and then short these 2 and this is your output and on the on the path to ground I put again two NMOS devices in series and two such branches here. We'll see how it works. So it's pretty interesting here the way this is constructed. So now let's see here the truth table. So we have two times when the output will be zero. This place and this place. So where both A and B are zeros, the output is zero. So you have a path to ground during that time. So there is a path to ground here. Then there is there should be a path to ground here in this case too. So say if you put <coughs> A for the zero zero case, when A is zero, A bar will be high. So connect this input to A bar and this input to B bar. So now what happens is when A and B, when A and B are both zeros, A bar and B bar are high, so you have this path turned on. So you have these, these two transistors, this one here and this one here turned on. So you have a path to ground and you will get a zero at the output. Now let's take the other case where when both A and B are high, you still need a path to ground. So what we do is, okay, let me change the color here. So let's put A and B here. So now when A is high and B is high, these two devices are on and then you have a path to ground again. So when A is low as well as when A and B are both low, you still have a path to ground. When A and B are both high, you have a path to ground. So you, uh, we took care of the first, first row and the last row. Now let's let's look at the the second and the third rows. So in this case, what we want is uh, we want a path to VDD. When let me put it here like this. When A is zero and B is one. So when A is 0 and B is 1. So let's put A here and B bar here. So what happens is when A is low and B is high, which B bar is low, these two P channels are on and say you have a path to uh, VDD fr from this output. And now let's take the other case where, yeah, I should have put this in green here. The row number 3, when a is 1 and B is 0. So we put A bar here. So A is 1, A bar is low. And then B is 0, so you put B exactly here. 
So when both the gates are zero, these two P channels are on now and you provide a path to the output. So to realize A bar and B bar, obviously you need the two inverters here. One inverter for A to A bar and then you got the B to generate B bar. So now let's look at the number of transistors that we have used in this. So we have used two here, two here, and then we have used eight. So it's four plus eight is using 12. So using 12 transistors, we constructed an exclusive OR gate. So when we use the gates, when we use the gates here in this case, we had to use 16 transistors to construct the exclusive OR gate. And whereas in this, when we try to build it with transistors, this is a pretty interesting approach. You should look at it and see how this works. So the connections, the way we put the connections for the, so we have two uh, P channels in series and two such branches. And then we have two N channels in series and two such branches. And we short all these uh, at this point and this is the output. So this is how the exclusive OR gate is constructed.